Hello. Is it testing the new bath out? Maybe. Maybe. No one thought I was ever going to do a bath video again. But here I am, looking for the right angle. <laughs> See, look at this. Look, my own little friend, Japani tree. Needs to settle in to its new house. Um, up there. Well, let me just explain. This bath took a little preparation, so I hope you appreciate it. I'm just going to lie here and show you what happiness looks like. Relaxed. I can't believe it. Okay, so if you have been, I've got to look in this, cameraman, woman, no, if I was going to have a camera person, it would be a man. No. Um, camera person, please let me know. Turn the red light on so I can look into the proper camera. Like there's a whole lot of cameras here. No, there isn't. So this house, this is the new house. And it had no um, bathtub. And I took it anyway because it has a swimming pool. And maybe later I will show you, not today, but maybe later I will show you the rest of the house. So this one didn't have a bathtub. And I, you know how I'm all into manife manifestation, manifesting the things that I want. And I'm pretty good at it. I don't know if my hair is actually hanging down into the dirt right now. Let's not do that. That look alright. Um, so, so there I was in the old house. I was there for three months, and it was a good. It was probably a good transition from the house previously, which I loved so much. I needed to take a like, like a pebble. It's like the angel Anna, the big Anna. She took me like I was a pebble, and she, and she skipped me across the pond and and I landed first in that other house and I had to go through some pretty intense emotional stuff and oh my god the pain from the people who lived next door the anger and the sort of all that unresolved sadness that I was feeling I was actually getting post-traumatic stress lots of abuse going on all around me and there I am you know trying to be a love bug in this intense world and you know going through my own stuff the weirdest couple of years I've ever had and anyway so I landed there for a couple of months and now and then I thought I need to make a beautiful house and make as in manifest as in think about what I wanted and and create it and I had so many things on my list that I didn't even know whether I would be able to kind of make that happen but I just loved and desired and thought about and scripted it in my book and spoke about all the beautiful things that I did love and that I wanted to see and then we I thought but how am I going to get that for affordable rent and then I happened upon this place and at first look it's like this big tall building on top of a hill and at first I'm like oh I don't know it might be a bit of a shithole but it has a pool and I'm just going to take it the other tenants left without paying left all their rubbish and it had to be professionally cleaned so there were these little things I walked into the house and I realized that at one stage in its life someone had been really proud of it and had taken time to add certain things to make it really functional so as I'm walking around the house, I'm realizing it's got all of these bits and pieces that I had on my list, but it didn't have a bathtub. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, we sacrificed that and I got the kids a pool, which they had been manifesting. So it's got an in-ground pool. They'd been talking about it and dreaming about it and drawing pictures of this new house that they wanted that had a swimming pool and an, their own bedroom. And um, and like, okay, so I didn't have a bathtub. That's pretty bad for me because I need it. And and then, you know, I'm packing up the old house 
And I realized that there was a throw out pile at the back of the old house that had an old bathtub. So I um, rang the real estate and the real estate said I could have it. So I've set it up here outside. And it's still got, I've still got to do some things. I've got to, it's got some functional issues. I'm not sure how leak proof it is. The plugs seem to be leaking a little bit. Um, but you know, it's got, that was my foot by the way. It's got somewhere I can hang my towel. It's got things around. It's going to have a mint garden. Oh my God, it's even got a dripping tap for mint. You know how mint loves a dripping tap? It has this like tiny, very slow leak coming out of the wall. And it had already a big blue ceramic, beautiful pot underneath it. So I just bought some mint today. And I wake up to bird sounds and I never hear anyone abusing anybody except the kids abusing each other occasionally, but you do get that. So I'm moving the camera around a lot because I'm not comfortable. I haven't found my perfect angle. 47 years old I am, so every angle is perfect. Once you get to 45, you just transform into this most gorgeous, delectable god or goddess. Have you noticed? As soon as they reach 45, beautiful, perfect in every way. Every stretch mark shines, every bit of cellulite beckons. We just embrace ourselves. So I just want to tell you about my manifestations. There's so much more. There's so much more. Bamboo. What else? Huge turning circle. Great carport. So much storage space. The rent is so affordable at this point. See what the filter does to the electricity bills. But So I just want you to know that you can manifest anything you want and i'm sorry if this had no sound you wouldn't have heard me apologize my phone is doing a funny thing so the next bathtub thing is about paris to which i am going in october but you know see what happens next oh gotta try to find a dry finger it's a dry finger